the development of, of embryo. Yes. Uh, I don't know exactly how it's described in the Quran. Putting the moon is just like a stunt, kind of. The question is, why stopping you from being a Muslim? Do you have questions for me? Is there a specific thing you want to talk about? Yeah, I've watched many of your videos. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, you, you mentioned a lot, like there are no contradictions in Quran. And yes, I do. Uh, that, that is kind of like a proof. But maybe yeah, there are no contradictions of. in, uh, you know, like Game of Thrones book or Harry Potter. You know, that doesn't like really... Where did I say in my of, videos, uh, because uh, the Quran has no contradictions, it proves it's from God. I never made that argument. But what I uh, say, yeah. it's a criteria for a book to be from God, okay. for it to have no contradictions. Do you agree with this? Statement. Yeah. So it's it's a requirement, but it's not proof. I'm not saying just because a book has no contradictions, therefore a book is from the creator. But it is very mm -hmm. important to see that, look, if someone who's come from a literate Bedouin Arab 1,400 years ago, talks about psychology, embryology, geology, and all of these things, it's not comparable to what, oh, you, uh, yes. what you quoted, which is a, a book of uh, fantasy or something like that. But still, I'm not saying just because it has no contradictions, therefore it's from God. Okay. I never yeah, said that. You, that that, that you argument actually... I never made, yeah? I never yeah, made yeah, that argument. Yeah, you actually played right into my cards by by okay, saying no one one specific thing. So I, about like I didn't the, know uh, where to prepare. I didn't know where to prepare <laughs> trap traps for each other. You know, I, I went to yeah. So go ahead, uh, yeah. about go like, ahead. like the uh, yeah. you know like the development of, of embryo. Yes. Uh, I don't know exactly how it's described in the Quran, but I would expect it can be you know quite specific but there are you know the truth that is the Quran. unfortunate truth is that people would know you know because people got killed you know they you know and sometimes when they were pregnant so they would know how embryos develop so how is this described in the quran or uh, what okay, is let me let me get your argumentation now so what what you're saying you will know about the stages of embryology through people dying pregnant and then you're cutting them open and then you're looking at the stages of embryology is that what you say unfortunately so, yes okay so what you said there makes zero sense i'll tell you why because if you were to cut the belly of a, of a pregnant woman how will you be able to tell which organ is which, is which? as i said I, I don't know exactly what the Quran says about it. So no. okay, you know, look, I, look I you made an argument. Like, Bob, uh, Bob, you know, Bob, Bob. Grows, I just grows, want you to think about your yeah. argument now. Yeah, to think how ridiculous the argument is from a rational perspective. I will cut someone open, and I don't know the anatomy of a human being because it's, it's one thousand four hundred years ago. It's the seventh century. We don't know the anatomy of the insides of a human being. So if I'm cutting a human open and there is blood and pieces of meat, how do you know which one is which and which one is is this and which one is that? And when you look at the human embryology and the development of it, when the baby Maybe it's smaller. It's a blood clot, and then it becomes a piece of meat. So it's just going to be. Yeah. It's going to be another piece of meat if you cut uh, someone open. See, we'd not know the stages of embryology by cutting a human being open. That's not how medicine works. So that argument doesn't work. And when it comes to what the Quran speaks about, it's very specific. It talks about the stages. It says it starts. You were a sperm. Then you become. A Plot. Then you become a alaqa, which is a clinging thing, uh, which sucks blood. And then the Quran goes into the description. So you can go into the Quran and then do some research on this issue if you if you want to talk about embryology. But the argument of cutting someone open doesn't work from a medical rational perspective. What else do you have, Bob, for me? Uh, yeah, I had a question about a surah 19 yes. and then approximately from uh, verses 30 to 40. So this is okay. all Jesus speaking, speaking. Yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So in I'm the servant of God. He made me, uh, mm -hmm. he gave me the book yeah, and he yeah, made yeah. me okay. a prophet and, and he made me blessed okay. wherever I am. But yes, yes, yes. Okay. So in 19, in 1940, mm -hmm. I'm not reading in English, but uh, it's pretty much like we will inherit uh, earth and everything what is on earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. what does it mean? Because, you know, like in the paradise, you are supposed to go well, to the paradise and you are not supposed to inherit earth. So what does it mean? Well, how, earth how is now. We well, earth? paradise is now on earth, so I don't see where the conflict is. Is for you? Paradise is a different place that we believe is above. So it's a completely different location. So Allah is saying that everything will return to Him. Inna nahnu arda means that things will return to Him. And if you finish the verse, it says wa ilayna that you will return to us. So the same verse talks about the idea of returning. So inheritance here means that everything will return to Allah, the one that created everything. Everything will so, come back to Him eventually. So the verse forty, it's not, it's not Jesus anymore speaking. Uh, no, yeah, this is Allah speaking ah okay so okay so from the verse 30, that's why it says it is uh, we it is we it says okay it is we it doesn't say yeah, I yeah am, but it I could am. be like jesus meaning like uh you know, uh, no, me no, and no. Other, other humans no uh no. No. i got a little bit lost no when i was when i was reading when i was reading these totally fine nothing to worry mm -hmm. about. anything else yeah putting the moon <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Splitting the moon. Uh, Why is your question? What? Uh, okay, because like all the previous miracles, it was like always for some good purpose, and uh, this one kind of seems like uh, uh... again, I, where you made the built an assumption. What do you mean okay. that all the miracles for for are for a good purpose? Where did you get this idea from? Like you know, like like healing people, raising from dead, even if splitting the sea, that, I'm uh, not okay, sure. or, uh, or you know, splitting the sea so okay. they could walk through, and uh, this uh, splitting the moon is just like a stunt kind of you know okay it's... moses turning his his stick to a snake is not necessarily something that's for beneficial for the people or his hand becoming uh lit and light is within his hand that's another miracle that happened i don't agree with this argument that all miracles need to be beneficial for human beings the point of a miracle is what from our description of america is uh mu'jiza, something that other human beings cannot imitate or do that allah brings on the hand of a prophet in challenge when he's being challenged so he's being challenged and he brings produces that as evidence that he's a messenger of god that's the point of what we call america point is not necessarily benefiting the people or not the prophet and the messenger brings it as a evidence that he's a messenger sent by god that look the evidence i'm not just a human like you is i can do this which no other human being can do so the point of the splitting of the moon is to demonstrate to the kuffar of Quraysh is that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God. Okay. Uh, you also say that, that one of the miracles actually is the text of Quran itself. Yes. And there's a video uh, okay. where I talk about that in detail, if you want. Uh, yeah. So, too so, much detail. Uh, uh, are there like any any new words that, that have never been used in the Arabic language before? Or is it just the, the use of the words? Like that it's like the, the best poetry? There are many that... things. There are many things. And one of them is that every chapter almost every chapter of the quran has a new word that was not used before or used in a new way so okay. I, there is a video on my channel called uh, arab christian learns about the miracle of the quran or something like that I, I would recommend you watch it and you will see i will talk about the miracle of the quran and how it's not being imitated and this and that and what is the challenge because a lot of people think the challenge is a subjective thing is not i give you the criteria of what the challenge is there are certain things that are unique to every text to every chapter of the Quran that you're told to imitate and bring something like it. Okay. And when it comes to being a prophet, so of course, Quran cannot define what is a prophet if it was supposed to be brought by, by a prophet, right? So what has it been described by, by some previous previous text or was it like something that people just... Uh... A prophet and a messenger. A messenger is someone who gets revelation and delivers the message to the people, right? Okay. A prophet is from the word in the Arabic language, Nabi. It's from Nubu'ah, someone who, who receives revelation from God. He's not necessarily commanded to deliver that message to the people, but he receives revelation, therefore he's a prophet, he's a messenger of God. Direct revelation he gets from the Creator. A messenger is the one who's commanded to deliver the message to his people. Okay, uh, were there any prophets uh, between between Jesus and, and Muhammad? Uh, no. Not in between. Okay, no. uh, what well, about prophet, all the prophet, other ones? Isa uh, alayhi salam and then Prophet Muhammad after him. What about all the other ones, you know, that uh, before, probably, before. let's say, didn't make it? So all these other messengers to other nations, which, you know, we never heard of, uh, they were before, before Jesus or? The prophets and messengers are sent to different nations in different times in different localities, okay? This is an Islamic perspective. Allah Azza just says in the Quran, There's no nation except that we send them a messenger. If that nation is isolated from other people, then they require a specific messenger to come to them in order for them to get the message. You're talking about this line of messengerhood. We have our, in our tradition, Islamic tradition, that Isa alayhi salam came after him, Prophet Muhammad, to our locality, to our region, to the things that we know about. Now, whether in that period there was for other people, because now we're talking about different people. If there was for other people, other messengers, Allahu A'lam, Allah knows best. But in the locality, in what we know of, in in the regions when uh, Isa alayhi salam was sent in, Prophet Muhammad was the one after him. There was no prophets between Isa alayhi salam and Prophet. Mm, nobody would. Okay. All right. So, sorry, I, I'm a little bit un unprepared. I just. Ah, I don't mind. You can I, bring I, look, I just look at the thing. I just stumbled upon you live. Uh, yes. So I was like, wait, let's join. Yeah, no I want to be more prepared. Do you do this like like a like a weekly or every two weeks? I try same? to do it weekly, but just like recently I've been having internet issues and things like that, so I'm having issues. But generally, I do it weekly. Yes, sometimes I might miss a week here or there, but generally I try to do it weekly. I believe I've asked, answered your questions that you have so far, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. need to prepare more. You know, no I just, I just randomly, yeah, but, but randomly Bob, 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 look, 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 Bob, Bob. Next this week, is not about try. Bob. It's not about argumentation. I'm not here to just spend time just arguing about things for no reason. It's more. It should be a search for truth. What is the purpose behind you coming and asking these questions? That's exactly it. You know. Yeah. Uh, so I'm an agnostic. Okay. And there are, you know, like uh, just a few religions uh, who worship one God. Okay. okay. Uh, obviously, 
Do you believe I Christians jumped, worship yeah. one God? I was talking to one of them just for you. <laughs> you were listening, right? Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's another story. That's oh, okay, another story. That's another story. Another story. Yeah, okay. Christians. Yeah. Okay. So obviously I cannot be a Jew because I'm just not a Jew. So, and they are like very, uh, it's not just religion. It's like yes. very so race, there's no, race. There's only Islam uh, for you then. I cannot be a Christian, obviously. You have covered it more than enough. Yes. Uh, so maybe I don't know much about the uh, Sikhism. Like uh, how much how much do they actually contradict Islam? Because they have like gurus. Sikhism uh, is a know. mix is a mix of Hinduism and Islam, and okay. they pick pick a lot of contradictory things from the Hindu to, uh, posi- position. One of the things is that everyone has his path to God, which is a contradiction that is impossible. They don't have a clear definition of God. They have this idea that everyone can have his path to God, meaning the Christians can have their path to God. But which God? They have different conceptions of God. How can all of them have the path to God when they have different contradictory beliefs? So they have this big problem. That's why you don't see them evangelizing much as well, because they have this idea that you can have your way as a Muslim to God. A Christian can have his way to God. This idea, liberal idea that is a mixture, mixing some things from Hinduism. And if you open their book, the scripture there is called Quotations verbatim from the Quran that uh, Guru Nanak took word for word from the Quran and put in his book. So it's not something that I would even bother investigating personally, but you can do if you want. But generally, mm-hmm. the question is, the, the, why is stopping you from being a Muslim then? If you agree with all of this, then why is stopping you from being a Muslim? Uh, yeah, because it's uh, it's a bit difficult because uh, in the times of, of Prophet Muhammad, there were people who knew him, so th- th- they knew and they could tell, okay, he is trustworthy. I can't say it because I don't live in those times. So for me, uh, I need to basically read the entire Quran and I need to understand it and recognize it as as the word of God before I, I can accept Muhammad as the prophet. Just based That's fine. On you, the you need to do some uh, investigation and research. That's what you're saying, right? Uh, yeah, I need to, yeah, I just need to. Okay, have you come across what, are... yeah, have you come across what we, what I say is evidences for the prophet, of, prophethood of Prophet Muhammad? So there are clear evidences that I mentioned, like the prophecies of the future of Prophet Muhammad as the nature of the Quranic literature. And I give you an, an advice to check the video that I was referring to, to understand more about this idea. The fact that the Quran talks about things in the natural world that was not known in the time. The fact that the Quran talks about history, things that were not known in the past. That was not known by previous civilizations that the Quran refers to. And the life of Prophet Muhammad himself. All of these are evidences to demonstrate that he's a messenger of God. So from an evidence perspective, there's tons of evidence that the Prophet uh, Muhammad is a messenger of God. Can you maybe refer me to or just quickly explain what is about the, uh, you know, like the salt water mixing? mixing w- I don't use that water. as evidence. That is something that can be observed by any human being. Anyone who travels yeah, this can is, see that. Yeah, and, and it wasn't only, only, only this. Because like uh, I, I've heard other people saying... That yeah. yeah, you know this and this and this. Uh, Muhammad possibly couldn't have known. Yeah. Uh, because uh, you have you have but... to come to me with what I say, not what other people say. Yeah, yeah. yeah because... That's why you don't see me using this, right? Because, because he, very, he just I'm very particular. To people, you know, he could just yeah. talk to people, and uh, you know, they were like merchants traveling yeah, yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. Look, and, look. Uh, some things, no even things. even this idea. Look, look, even. I don't use it as evidence, but still, Prophet Muhammad was not someone who was traveling to different nations to, with people who, who were seeing the sea and this and that. He was a desert man and he used, he used to live in the desert and travel in the desert, right? He was away from the sea. But yes, you can make a plausible, rational argument that he could have gotten this information from someone because then it's an observable phenomenon. So I agree with you. That's why I don't use these weak arguments. There are people who use these weak arguments, but they're, I'm not using mm-hmm. them. What I use is very particular, specific, that I know that Prophet Muhammad could not have known. But this is, as I said, it's just one type of evidences. There are other things other than this natural phenomena that are also evidences. I don't need to stick, to, I don't even need to use any of that to show that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Okay, so what will be the, the one the one ultimate evidence for uh, you? I, I don't, I, different evidences for different people. Some people are more convinced with something. I don't think it's something called the ultimate evidence. But a clear thing is his life. Looking at his life, if you believe in God, which clearly you do believe in God. If you believe in God, it would be easy to tell whether someone is a messenger of God or not. A liar, the biggest liar who claims he's a messenger of God and the most truthful person who will be a true messenger of God, it's very easy to tell the difference between the two because they're polar opposite. So just looking at his life, what he used to do on a day-to-day basis and what, how he engaged with other people is enough evidence for me personally that he's a messenger of God. But the strongest yeah. evidence for me is the, is the Quran not being imita- imitable. No one can imitate the Quran. This is the biggest miracle for me personally because I speak Arabic and I understand the language of the Quran. Yeah, actually, about 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 like uh, his his life, uh, mm-hmm. it's a bit difficult for somebody who who doesn't know about Islam to to find s- some text to read, you know. So uh, there is Quran, of course. Yeah, there the, is a there, book, but there's there a the hadith, called... and everybody believes different 
hadith and uh, is there some like no, no, collection no, there's of just... them or how does it work? No, yeah, the hadith, there are books, uh, collections of hadith, not anyone brings his own hadith from his pocket or something. It's books of hadith uh, that have the hadith within them. You cannot make up hadith as you go, you know? So there is a book, for example, you can read called The Sealed Nectar. The uh, Sealed sorry, Nectar, we'll... yeah. Okay. Or you can email me. I can give you, uh, there's a better book I can even give you if you like. Email me. On the Muslim Lantern, because I thought the name of the book that in my mind does not come to my okay, mind. Right now. Okay, email me I, I at Muslim Lantern. It. Yeah, you will I'll, find the sealed nectar, but I can recommend you. Okay. Yeah, Ar Rahiq al Makhtum, yes. Or I can recommend you something else as well, but this is a biography. If you want to read a biography, it's a book that is a biography oh. of the Prophet. Okay, I will, uh, yeah, I will, I will start. I will start no with this. No problem. My pleasure. Okay. Man. Uh, uh, as you... I said, I, I'm not I'm not prepared today. If I, How if is that? I I'm not prepared too. I just go live, man. That's it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm... I was just browsing on YouTube and I, I saw yeah. you live. So I was like, okay, why not? That's okay. Uh, That's but okay. Uh, yeah, I will try to prepare some, some questions to have them like a little bit more well structured. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I will, I will see you in a, in a week or two. No problem. I'm happy to, to have you on. Anyways, I'll let you go now. If unless you need okay, something okay. else from yep. me, and then we can yep. we can talk at a different time. Okay, okay. good talking Thank to you, you. Bob. عشيرتي جميعكم حتى ابنتي لا اغني عنكم فاعبدوا الهكم ووحدوا. اذا اعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الان.